usual life. Uh, I don't have much time, but I thought I will give it a try and do some live recording from the salon. Uh, because we normally have such a bad internet connection that it is impossible to do a live video um, in in the house uh, and that's where we mainly record so I thought I will do it in a cell and see if the connection is better and if it is sometimes we will do some live in here now the only trouble um obviously in the salon and I've got about half an hour maybe 40 minutes before my next client comes in and I thought uh, I will do this uh, video and um, uh, and yeah once we um, once we get few of you we will do some one stroke painting but on the different thing uh, which is going to be a christmas bubble and i thought that will be that might be pretty interesting i'm going to zoom it in a little bit as well so let me zoom in a little bit and i hope that oh that's too much dorota don't do that there we are so i hope the internet connection is going to be pretty good to allow us not bad view and if so we will be doing more live videos guys for you uh, from the salon uh, so let's hope it will work <laughs> uh, hi guys uh, because I'm on my own cameraman is in the house um, I will try to do a little bit of talking little bit of demo and then also answering your uh, your uh, comments as well so I've got the one stroke level one brush and we are going to start painting some Christmas bubble I thought it will be fun to um, to show you yeah we we don't do many lives um, because the internet connection is absolutely terrible and for Twilliam Aria so I'm trying to see it if it is going to be better in the salon and if so we might do some more live videos but well, let's start um, some painting here uh, we will do a small rose to start with so I'm just painting on top of the Christmas bubble and you know guys what is awesome that um, you can paint on any surface with the acrylic paints and we can just use new products to top coat the things. So what I did is uh, just a two small petals, which are going to be the beginning of the uh, of the rose. And then once the paint is dry, when it becomes matte, we can do a small button here. So just touch, 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 go down and look at those cute opening. I hope the the visibility is okay um, in the camera and we get um, good view. Then we are going to do another petal on the other side. So look, just the touches of the brushes and we've got another petal. So pretty. We can decorate this bubble also with the um, crystals. I'm now using the other side. So just touches of the brush and we have created uh, another small petal here. Let's do another one. I love painting one stroke and we didn't do it for a long time. Also guys, because you are so amazing and because we are getting close to the 100,000 subscribers, um, uh, we are producing videos every day. Uh, so you will be able to see a new video every day uh, with the tutorial. Okay, I have just used some baby wipe to clean my brush and now I can paint another it is a little blurry. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Um, so, cameraman says, is the camera on the side? Cameraman is messaging me <laughs> in the meantime. He says, like, is the camera... Okay, so let me check if this is going to be any better. I do hope this is better. Gosh, guys, this is terrible. Is it better? Yeah, the, the, the video is blurred. Oh no! And I was hoping that uh, if it wouldn't be blur. So tell me guys if this setting of the camera is better for you because I have just uh, twisted the phone and if it's better then I'm just going to keep it uh, this way. Uh, so you can so you can see it um, all as I say we are doing this live video from the salon so I will be having some guests coming in um, and uh, but it's good to do a wee test you hear that? 
for you. <laughs> okay. There you are. Enjoy. Because the light is in of the ball it is better okay guys i'm glad it is better so forgive me there will be a disturbance of the client coming in but um, uh, we have to find some way how to try it let's paint another small one so now it should be visible i'm just doing a touch coming to the top and then coming down the way wait for it to dry and then pick up the paint so one side of the brush other side of the brush blend it in and then we are going to touch where white, touch the white, go down the way and then make another petal on the side and another one on the other side. Now we want to do paint like a bigger rose and in order to paint a bigger rose I'm going to dip in my brush into the magenta color and we are going to color the background of it. It has to be much darker then I want to paint another bigger rose in here as well. Okay, this needs to dry. Then I've got a question here, how do I clean out my acrylic brushes so they have dried up acrylic and keep them clean which when not in use? So if it's an acrylic paint, I'm using just a water to clean them up. If this is the actual acrylic, you have to ideally clean them with the monomer so they don't get um, damaged. And if you do... Um, get the acrylic fully polymerized you will have to unfortunately use the brush cleaner and brush cleaner isn't uh, um, isn't really good uh, on the on the bra on the bristle so i wouldn't recommend it guys um, try to uh, try to use for acrylic paints water and for the acrylic monomer and for my gel brushes i'm using the uv cleanser okay i'm mixing up my paint again because this part is start getting uh, dry and then I'm going to paint inside the rose like a V wavy shape we've got one and then the second one just a wee wavy shape here as well okay so this is a beginning of the rose pick up another paint and then we are going to paint the petals which are outside so really decent size petal outside then make another one and you can see it how easy um, it is to achieve a nice shape using the one stroke technique okay pick up the paint again you don't want the brush to be too low with the water because it will make your paints to be diluted too much but at the same time you don't want it to be too dry like the the creamy consistency is a perfect consistency for your painting so i'm painting another petal here and then another one now once i have reached the place where the petals are meeting we are going to bring this petal lower so we've got one petal overlapping on the other petal let them soak uh, so i've got sheila asking so let them soak to clean out the acrylic powder from the brush okay if you've got the acrylic powder dried out on the brush you unfortunately need to uh, use the brush cleaner uh, which is quite harsh for the brittles you have to always make sure like when you finish your work you clean the brush with the monomer uh, to prevent that uh, because it it is really damaging to um to the brushes okay pick up another scoop of the paint and now we are going to place the petal in there so in between that nice and slow and you have to make sure you don't go too high because you want those petals to be separated like if i've got white on the top i have to work below it then pick up another scoop of the paint and another petal here leave some gap and another petal there So 
so I hope something is visible in the camera. Uh, I might actually, you guys know how to mix the paint now, so I might actually pull it a little bit out so the light doesn't reflect as strong because uh, it will probably make the things more difficult for you. Another petal. I have painted those Christmas bubble like a couple years ago and I still store them because I, they are so pretty uh, once they finish. So clean up the brush and let's paint another one. Yeah, something other. See, because on the live videos uh, the internet quality might be not as great, um, it would be very risky for me to paint on the news. Um, it might just not show as much in a camera. Unfortunately, as I say, the quality of the internet uh, isn't great. Um, so um, that's what we have to uh, play with as a Christmas bubble. But of course, we will decorate this Christmas bubble with some blink as well, if I manage with the time, uh, because I'm in the salon and I'm just waiting for my client. But I thought um, having those couple minutes mean I can spend some time, guys, with you. Okay, so yeah, let's pick up the phone. So the joys of the phone calls and the people coming up. Can you please give me an idea? What is the Christmas mystery boxes, please? Okay, so um, I can't. Um, okay, in the Christmas mystery boxes, we've got a bit of everything. So depending on the size one, you will get some gel polishes. No, I'm so sorry, we don't. No. Sure. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Yes, yeah, so sorry guys for that. Obviously, I'm in the sound. So in the boxes, we will have um, some gel polishes. You will have some brushes. You will have some... Um, some brushes, some glitters, like a snowflakes, and um, what else we did pack it in there. Uh, so it might be some cuticle beads. So we try to do it just so like, because guys, you sometimes get like a two boxes. I'm trying to do not repeat them, um, but it's a quite good value of the money because uh, like the box, which is worth 200 pounds, uh, you're paying only a hundred pounds and you've got a 200 worth of uh, products in there. So I'm just painting another petal in here. 
Yeah, I think the lights from the salon are the tough ones because there is always something in the background. I'm actually curious how this uh, Christmas bubble will turn out. There we are, so we almost... Yes, they are both slightly different. Like, in every box will be a slightly different. Um... And then we're thinking also about doing some boxes for the Valentine's as well. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to put, like, I don't know, like some autumn new art in a box for um, for winter or for Valentine's in a different way. If we will do some uh, boxes for the Valentine's news, uh, we will uh, try to do it, um, uh, some decorations more relating to that uh, time of the year. Okay, I'm just painting the hardest petal and before my brush was light like and now it's more straight. So like for, for the Christmas one, you will, you will mainly have some gel polishes like uh, from the Neil Perfect. I'm going to actually show you them, guys. Um, there is a video which I have used. Uh, but let me show you. Uh, I Thank you. Bye. Thank you, bye. So like, that's example, the gel polish. And then it's a nice, um, I use it for the check it look. Then there's some metallic one. We also add some other things. I, I'm using them basically in a salon. I might actually show you the color chart. Um, they are used ones, so excuse that. <laughs> um, there is like another color here. That one is really nice and pretty. some red and some other colors let me show you the snowflakes because the snowflakes they are awesome too We can't show you the snowflakes because I don't have to find. I've got too many boxes of the glitters and other things. <laughs> yeah, but there will be some glitters. There will be some Swarovski crystals in there. Like some cuticle beads. Like, so you might get like a cuticle bead. Um, yeah, lots of lots of uh, different things. Oh, guys, you want a sound tour, so you don't you're not interested on the paint. Yes, so I could do a short one quickly. And um, unfortunately, we have to. Um, yeah, I will watch your time. I will do the sound tour. Okay, I I take you guys around the salon. I will do that. Let me clean the brush then and just finish quickly this bubble, and then we will go around the salon before my client comes in. Uh. Yeah, so stuff also, guys, when it comes to ordering the products as well, like keep in mind, it's have been quite tough recently with the uh, with the post office. They do strikes constantly, um, which makes our life more difficult because we are not able sometimes to post it um, as often as we would want. But anyway, let's let's finish this rose. So uh, touch in here. 
more of a straight brush because we need to squeeze those petals there. Cameraman is uh, watching this uh, live video as well from the house and he's messaging me something, but I cannot check it yet. I'm so sorry, cameraman. Big kisses to you. There we are. So we have created another one and then I'm going to squeeze another one and this is the last one. So this way we have painted uh, first rows. I hope it is some sort of visible um, in, the, in the camera. Yeah, but it's still a bit blur. It's a shame. We can't do any uh, tutorials, live videos. Uh, it will be more just a talking one. So once the Christmas rush is over, um, we will do some live video, but just like a wee chats and and things like that. Um, we uh, in a house for you guys so we can see each other again, but painting another petals in here. Uh, and coming back to the salon, uh, as I say, unfortunately, the, the owner of the premises we currently been renting for the last over 13 years has died and the building got sold. So we have to search another premises, which is really extremely difficult in Fort William Maria because there is not many, um, many places which you could really uh, rent, uh, but we're trying our best. Um, I'm a little bit upset. Actually, it was extremely tough time for us since August. Uh, it was like, you know, I was waiting for some medical investigation. Uh, finally, um, on Saturday, I got the letter that everything is good. So I'm so happy. Like, I'm kind of back to back to normal, back to life again, and, and a happiness um, because it was causing so much stress, like um, more than um more than anything else uh, really um so i'm i'm really chuffed for for that and then the the premises we will try our best to find something as soon as possible uh, and then uh, we will have to um redo all the salon move everything <laughs> so it will be a very very tough uh, tough time now let's add some green leaves into that. Um, we are guys um, located in Fort William and Fort William is like a small village up the north, no village town. Okay, let's call Fort William town. A small town up the north of Scotland in the Scottish Highlands. Uh, absolutely amazing and pretty place. Um, just a bit quiet. Uh, I mean, I quite like living in such a quiet place. Uh, it can be quite, um, quite nice and relaxing as long as you can get away sometimes from here. Yes, Elaine. I like. I mean, that was the biggest. Like, gosh, you you guys even have no clue how much stress it was causing. Um, like uh, on me, um, you know, my hands were shaking. Like I sometimes lost my motivation. <laughs> it was like, oh my goodness, it was terrible. Uh, but now, yeah, everything all good. So I have painted like a three quick leaves in here. Um, I will maybe zoom it in a little bit. And uh, I'm going to add, for a balance, some leaves in here. So sometimes you can make a leaf by just a one move of the brush. I'm going to also watch the time. Um, I will re-watch re this live video. Uh, it was just a really test one. Um, and I thought, like, I don't want to just put the camera in and check the quality. I will show you something. Uh, but I will check it later on once it is... Um, processed by the YouTube to see if it's worth to do it uh, demonstration uh, videos or not really um, in a salon. As I say, it's in a house, it doesn't work completely at all um, because the quality is really, really bad. That's why we're doing only recorded videos for you guys and um, we, we're sharing recorded videos. They, they, those bubbles start looking pretty. <laughs> I, I do really actually like it. Um, now, I need something in here because it doesn't look right. So let's paint another big rose. And I've got five minutes for painting. And then I will have a couple minutes for you to go around the salon as well. Let me see what you're saying there. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, guys. We will try our best, like, in, into the big... I mean, I, I still have got some time, like, uh, kind of... Um, 
decent time uh, to move, but we need to watch um, and find a new premises. But as I say, this wasn't the biggest worry. <laughs> okay, let's do another big one. So I'm just painting some background there and maybe a tiny one on the bottom here. I love painting like one stroke, so relaxing. And you guys asked me about those nails, which I'm wearing as well. When I we posted the video, I think was on yesterday. You have seen them first time. It was like, oh, you want to see the tutorials. They will be coming up, but uh, I think um, later on today, uh, I will post some nail art, then tomorrow probably nail art, then the structure, and then this set of the nails, which I'm currently wearing. So that's my uh, Christmas set of the nails. Um, because obviously you have to get it done like a month before Christmas because then the Christmas rush starts and you're just doing clients in and out. Um, so yeah, I will show you. I will show you the step by step how the nails which I'm currently wearing have been done. And I hope you'll like this tutorial, but give me maybe two, three days and then you will be able to see it on the YouTube. Uh, also keep checking the channel every single day because we are posting uh, videos every day. Now here I have painted a leaf, but uh, I also thought it's too empty space, so I have covered it with some petals and then adding more petals. You could also paint one stroke on top of the furnitures as well, so like absolutely, uh, absolutely anything really. You could decorate your nail lamp, um, that's a nice idea as well. Okay, and then a baby one in here, a baby one in there. Let's finish off this rose. And then soon I will be able to give you a quick tour around the salon. Which will be a shame to to say goodbye to this place. Like so many memories in here. Like Olivia was just a baby uh, when we opened it, and um, she was riding on the chairs in here and like painting the nails when she was like five, six, seven years old, and now she is eighteen. Um, so yeah, it is unbelievable how times fly and how much how many memories we've got in here this christmas bubble starts looks so cute and pretty i just wanted to um to show you something um a little bit uh different uh for the christmas time not that's uh, you know you can you can do the things uh, we do on the nails also on different items uh, to decorate your house Let's do another one in here. Something for a balance on the opposite side. Very wee tiny leaf in here. I'm obviously not going to be able to finish this bubble because I could go and go and paint more and more. And quite often, guys, you ask me why I prefer using the <clears throat> acrylic paints over the gel. Look how many times I would have to cure it. Like, it would be just so time consuming uh, using the um, gels rather than the acrylic uh, paints. So that's the main reason why I I prefer it. I already like this Christmas bubble. It looks so cool. And uh, and yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this very short tutorial on something. But let's do the uh, quickest salon tour, like around. So what I'm going, guys, to do is I'll show you. Let me do it like this. There we are. Grab the other phone. So this is my desk, guys. Like, and normally on this desk, okay, I'm going to keep this phone in, in my hand. 
Um, so let me get it ready for the client as well. Okay, gosh, I hope guys you don't mind me being so um, all over the place. But let's put this beautiful Christmas bubble on the side. Uh, take those paints on the side. I wanted to decorate it with the gems, but unfortunately I didn't manage. Now, I love storing the gems like in those kind of boxes. Uh, we used to have them on the website, empty boxes, and I promise we get more because I think it is absolutely fantastic. Now, here I've got the desk lamp and I've got something where I hold my phone when I record with Out of Cameraman. So I have to always bend it like this. Uh, take away all these gems. And uh, this is my desk. And what I love about it is a glass desk. Okay, the glass desk is awesome because it doesn't get any dirt in there. Um, you can easily clean it. And then I've got those. Uh, fun extractor uh, and then I've got my draw in here where I keep the e-file so it's always hidden from the um, from the dust I love it um, then my chair in here and um, I would store my brushes so gosh I would store my brushes in my draw in there then I've got some lamp I've got lots of gel polishes, lots of more gel polishes. There is another desk in here and another, that's Olivia's desk as well, uh, in here. And then we do have uh, some bits and pieces where I keep uh, some other decorations. Like, so I would keep some, uh, I will keep some gems in here, like some gel polishes, which aren't on the color chart yet. Uh, then we've got scale to weight your parcels when we do your parcels here an extra price list for the new art so it will be like swarovski crystals a uh, small piece 25 p, uh, p like large one glitters one stroke level one 150 per new i will show you my color chart as well there we are so the color chart is like a book where i've got the color chart and the clients just pick the number and then we go to the cabinet and we will just pick up the number uh what they want um now we've got also the area where we reception area so that's where we pack your parcels you can see the bubble wrap um we've got some displays of the new perfect gel polishes we've got my coffee cabinet here uh, so that's like uh, some of the awards. I think the star one is awesome. There is a cameraman, guys. So that's a young cameraman down the bottom here. <laughs> and um, this is how you can see it. The bigger view of the salon. Yes, glass is definitely... Um, so the paint, uh, not in this ones, uh, not in the Christmas boxes, but I want to do the uh, uh, acrylic paints and the um, zoom out, please. Okay, cameraman is shouting zoom out. Oh gosh, Dorota, how? There we are. Yes, thank you, cameraman. You are a, you are a star. <laughs> you are a star. Okay, so that's... Um, um, yeah, the acrylic paints are going, guys, I've got like only, literally, I've got 12 minutes <laughs> before my clients comes in. So, um, um, this is the windows, the sofas, sofas, then we've got a beautiful Christmas tree, which the girls uh, have put it in. Oh, not this one. Uh, and the acrylic paints are going to be in the um, Valentine's boxes. Uh, there is a hairdressing space here. So that's as you walk in, like you would walk into the salon. And the floor was done by me and the cameraman. The cameraman play with the lighting everywhere. So you can see it also, there is quite a lot of uh, light spotlights. And I find that makes the salon really, um, really bright. Uh, my orchid, I love flowers. Let's go upstairs. Oh, that's then we've got some toilet in here. You're not interested on that. Then the storage uh, storage room <laughs> where I keep all the envelopes, guys. <laughs> so we can pack your parcels. We've got a cute Santa there. <laughs> and then let's go upstairs. Oh gosh, Christmas, yeah. Uh, so, um, this picture was actually in a magazine cover. Uh, that's the longest news we have ever did. 
and then we've got this picture here and this one oh gosh this snowman uh, then you come in up, up, upstairs we wanted to replace this floor in here but i didn't uh, because obviously now we have to leave the salon and uh, this is a sun bedroom and that's the light on sun bed there's actually a video um then we've got another room in here so that's a treatment room then we've got another sun bedroom <laughs> So that's the stand-up one. There is actually a video and a wee sofa. There is a video of the salon setup. We did it with the cameraman ages ago. Then we've got a locket cupboard where we keep all the products, guys. So that's where we keep all the products. And I prefer those white, white looks in here because it's much, uh, much nicer. So that's a pedicure room. It's actually freezing today like really, really cold. We do some gel polishes in here. And again, the spotlights because it's, it's better. And then that's the, the other pedicure chair. And then we've got also some massage room. So as you come in here, there is another room where we do the massage treatments. So I try to keep it at like kind of minimalistic, you know, not too much stuff and um, not too much stuff so it's easier to keep it clean especially in a salon uh, and then we've got like a wee kitchen in there and then you can just come downstairs and then see the main entrance so that's how the salon salon looks that's our opening times as well I'm going to definitely miss this space, you know, because it's so nice and 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 um, and it took lots of hard work, guys, like so much hard work uh, to redecorate everything because it wasn't nice at all um, to start with. And uh, yeah, we have we have done a large bit in here. Now let me show you something. I've got a color chart, so. I'm going to show you, I don't like to talk for empty, empty thing. And then I, I can show you maybe some color chart of the upvoted gel polishes um, uh, as well. But uh, lots of hard work in this salon. But uh, you will have, if we manage to find another one, because it's not told we will manage. But if we've managed to find another one, then you could go through with us the journey of, of starting the new salon from the scratch uh, and see how the things uh, how the things go in there now let's just see where is the number one okay here and uh, thank you marta merry christmas to you as well so that's a uh, upvoted uh, color chart and i've got uh, so that's 143 color uh, no let's let's take this away also the that's uh, the boxes for the um, for the christmas gift sets so we bought you guys like some boxes and we're putting those prizes in there so that's the large box and then the smaller one is half of that but lots of products packed in there as well next sound will be even better cameraman says i will we'll see like olivia just mentioned she wants to move away to glasgow uh, so yeah <laughs> so that's 143 color really nice and pretty as well then we've got some other colors oh gosh i can't do it both hand and and keeping the color charts 144 146 this purple one is amazing 147 really pretty color 154 really nice for this time of the year Yes, yeah, so yes, um, there was actually Perwa, there was also pictures of how the salon looked beforehand. Uh, so lots of hard work involved in there. Um, 164, really nice color as well. I need to show you also 107, uh, 169, the pearly white. I love this one. It's so pretty. 
Blue, blue Royal, do you have? Yes, we. there's a new one which came out and I need to do the color of that. It is a Royal Blue. And at the moment we don't have the Royal Blue. The other blue we've got is 201. And it's quite nice blue, but it's n I wouldn't call it like a real, real Royal Blue. Um, but there is a new collection which came out and it has a Royal Blue color. Uh, and there, and look at those glitter guys, glittery ones for Christmas. 212 is amazing, unbelievable one. Like really nice. Um, thank you for sending so many positive vibes. Uh, unfortunately, it's a short live video, like really short live video because I've got client coming in um, in a very short time. They're so pretty and so sparkly. Uh, so I was just wanting to really check the quality of the internet from the salon because in a, uh, in a house, the quality is just so bad that we unfortunately cannot do lives any other than talks. You know, so you can just see my face sitting on the sofa and chatting away with you. Um, and that's kind of lives which we will be doing in January. And today after this live video, I'm going to post some Christmas nail art for you uh, as well. So you can so you can watch some another tutorial and then within about two, three days, I will post the tutorial on those nails. Uh, I actually love them. I love them. Um, because they are so universal, they just go with everything um, and they have to last me till the Christmas, so probably about six weeks. And guys, 200, those colors are the, the nude ones, 217, 216 are unbelievable. One coat color uh, for a nude is like crazy. And then Christmas 174, this one is absolutely pretty as well for a Christmas and it has a one color um, in there too. Um, yeah, I, I think I'm going to send you a huge uh, glittery hacks. It was a very short live, vi live video. Uh, I'm going to rewatch it and, um, and check the quality. And that's the Christmas, uh, the surprise boxes. This is how they, um, how they look. And then they are filled up with the goodies and gel polishes and the glitters and the snowflakes. Um, so, yeah, glittery hugs, guys. Um, I'm actually going to see how to do that. But let me work out if I can. Yes, I can. I can. I can. So, yeah, I can send you a huge glittery hugs. And thank you so much for spending this time with me. Big kisses. Bye. Uh, how you switch that off? <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> okay, I need to now check it how to how to switch that off. <laughs> Terrible. See, that's why I need the cameraman, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I need the cameraman. Patrick, I need you. I need you. Okay, big kisses and bye.